Hello, I wanted to explain to you why I feel called to minister to my brothers. And if you're one of the many men who have recently subscribed to my channel, I'm so honored that you have decided to be here. So if you haven't met me before, my name is Sarah Geringer. I am a Christian author, speaker, podcaster. I am a book launch manager and creative coach. I'm also an artist. I am mom to three teenagers and we have three dogs. And also I am a fifth generation resident of Southeast Missouri, which I'm very proud of. And it's my honor to speak to my brothers and in this viral video, uh, my review of the Sound of Freedom movie, I've dug into some of the analytics and about 67% of those who have watched it are males 30 and up. And so it's very clear to me that God is opening up a new harvest field in this area that he wants me to use to speak to my brothers, and maybe that's you. So I want to explain where I've arrived at that. Since I've been a teenager, God has put me in situations where it was very clear that males were gravitating toward me for spiritual advice or comfort or just affirmation. This has happened uh, almost always on a spontaneous, unplanned, one-on-one -on -one experience. So I remember this happening in junior high, high school, college. Uh, more recently, it has happened. Uh, I remember an appraiser coming to my house, and he was old enough to be my dad's age. And he sat on uh, the steps in my living room and cried because he had just recently lost his mother. I remember another uh, person came and sprayed our home for pests, and he opened up about the night terrors that he has as a victim of childhood abuse. I remember going to a uh, jury duty selection and a, a husband and father just sitting beside me and pouring out his concerns for his family. So God has led me to these men many, many times. And it's just such an honor because I know how difficult it is for men to open up and share their feelings. And it's just such an honor to be someone trustworthy. And maybe I can be that that sister in Christ to, to you. That's my hope. And I wanted to just bring up a couple of points, uh, particularly uh, related to this, this video, because I know many of you followed me because you connected with the content that was in that video. Obviously, I can't replicate that over and over again because it was just a movie review and that's not really what I do. It's just something that God told me to do. I was walking out of the theater and I was very emotional. And I heard God speak to me and he said, you are an influencer and you must record your feelings about this movie and you must do it right now. That's why I was chewing gum. A lot of you have said, okay, it was a great video, but please lose the gum. I, I got it, okay? No more gum. Um, I had my glasses on. I don't usually wear my hair in a ponytail for videos, but, you know, I guess it's okay with you all. Um, as of recording this video, I think there's 320,000 views. And so um, that's just mind-blowing for me. But anyway, um I recorded it because God told me and I shared it because God told me I had no idea it was going to go this far and wide. 
And I really had no idea it was going to resonate with so many men, so many of my peers, and then so many people that are even my parents' age. So I'm just so incredibly honored um, to speak to you. And I just wanted to let you know, I've read every single comment. There have been thousands and thousands of comments. And I think one of the themes that I'm picking up in the comments from men is that you want to fight. You're angry and you're outraged and you want to do something about this. And, you know, as a, as a woman, I can just say, I think that's just such a beautiful way that God has made men to, to fight for what is right. And I think that's a good thing that you can do with those feelings. And um, I just wanted to affirm that if that's a feeling that you're having. I also wanted to talk about this issue uh, because I've never intended to be controversial in my content, but the issue of porn has come up again and again and again in the comments. And I've actually written about this in my book, Transforming Your Thought Life, Christian Meditation and Focus. This is my most popular book of my six books that I have written. And I just wanted to tell you a couple stories. And I also wanted to read a portion of this book to you. So I remember being exposed to child porn myself. And it was completely unwanted, unbidden, unbidden. I did not seek it out. I was one credit shy of having a French minor in college. And in my French class, um, we were watching foreign movies. And uh, this was at a secular university. And the professor um, played this movie and there was child porn in it and I've never been able to erase that image from my mind. I am a visual person. Um, Shanti Feldhahn, a, an author I respect, she's uh, Harvard trained. She bases a lot of her information on research. And she says though men are, most men are visually stimulated. There are some women who are too and I'm in that camp. And I think that that makes me more empathetic toward men who struggle with this and more understanding of what you have to deal with. Anyway, going back to that moment in college, I was only, I don't know, 19 years old. And I remember standing up, nobody else in the class said anything about it. But I remember standing up and literally cussing my teacher out in French. I was, I was fluent at that time. And I was just absolutely appalled. And I didn't know at the time I could have gone and filed a report with the dean and done something more about it. But I felt like I had to stand up for the truth. And it was very uncomfortable for me. Um, that I knew I just was never going to be able to get that out of my mind and someone else put it there. And that made me very angry. And clearly this movie is connected with that issue. And um, I talk about International Justice Mission. And if you'll follow them on Instagram, you'll see that um, you know, online live streaming of child porn is a huge problem. And just getting, just watching regular porn, not child porn, can increase your appetite for that kind of thing. So in my book, Transforming Your Thought Life, one of the chapters is on impure thoughts. And I talk about when I was a teenager and I looked at the Victoria's Secret catalogs that came in the mail, which probably could be considered soft porn. And um, I didn't realize that was really a problem until years later of how the enemy was trying to get his hook in me by getting me to watch that kind of material. And this is me going to, at the time, a private Christian college. Uh, obviously, God was setting me on this path to be a Christian influencer. And 
still the enemy was getting his hooks in me, trying to get me off path when uh, I was young. And so I understand this struggle. And I just wanted to tell you, I wanted to read a portion of this, of what I do about this temptation when I'm faced with it. Uh, the first step to dealing with impure thoughts is to admit that we have them because we are human. We have eyes and we are prone to sin. If we don't admit that impure thoughts happen to us and we deny their power, shame can cover our minds in such a thick layer that the enemy will already have won the battle. Starting today, resolve to be honest with God when impure thoughts enter your mind. The temptation itself is not a sin, but entertaining the thought can quickly lead to lust. Turn the impure thoughts over to God every time and he will drastically decrease the level of the battle you face. And I talk about identifying our triggers. I also talk about bouncing your eyes away from the trigger. That's a Steve Arterburn has talked about that technique and also taking inventory of how you feel in the moments when you're triggered. So if you need help with this, you can pick up a copy of my book. I will share the link in the comments. And I just wanted to share one other thing with you. I watched a really good interview that um, Jim Caviezel and Tim Ballard did with TBN. I will link that in the comments below. And something that has stuck with me from that interview is Jim said, when he was praying about this, about doing this movie, the Lord asked him if he loved the children more than he feared evil, and if he loved Christ more than he feared the cross. And I just want to say, based on a lot of the comments that I got. I believe that Satan is real. Uh, I believe that we're all facing spiritual warfare and I believe the more we advance the kingdom of God, the more we're, warfare we're going to face, the more attacks we're gonna face. That has been true with every single book that I've written, especially this one, which is on dealing with spiritual warfare through meditating on God's word back of it says your mind is under attack so my platform is about finding peace in god's word and using god's word as a tool to fight back against state satan one of my favorite names of god is the lord of heaven's armies this is said over and over in isaiah uh, in the new living translation and i think about him as the lord of heaven's armies that he's the commander in charge. And I think that appeals to me when I'm facing my spiritual battle. I think it's a name that greatly appeals to men, uh, thinking about men being warriors for Christ. And, and yet he's already sovereign over this army of angels. And he's just inviting us to join in the battles he's already one, because we know that Jesus has the ultimate victory already secured. We're just invited to fight with him, uh, fight the good fight of faith, and put on the armor that's uh, described to us in Ephesians 6, and, and join him in the fight of good versus evil. And that's what I want to do in these videos I'm going to make for you. Uh, my goal is to make at least one video a week, maybe more than that, um, maybe share to shorts a little bit more often. And my plan is to pull out a quote from one of the books that I'm reading. I read over a hundred books a year, most of them Christian nonfiction, and then have a discussion based around that quote and then bring you back to scripture. So that's my plan moving forward. And I'm very glad to be here with you. Thank you for hanging with me on this long form content video today. And I'll put all my information in the comments if you want to get a hold of me for prayer, for speaking at your event or at your church. Uh, you can get in touch with me in the comments below. 
Let me just close this out with prayer. Father, I thank you for the one who is watching this video, who is seeking you to learn more about you, to be discipled by you, Lord. And I just pray that you will help me make content that is edifying for this person and will grow them in their faith so that they can be salt and light in their own homes, in their own workplaces, in their own communities, Lord. I pray you would strengthen them and uphold them with your righteous right hand and you would make their calling clear because each of us has a calling to do your work where we're at, Lord, and I pray you would make their calling clear and you would just empower them and strengthen them by the power of your Holy Spirit to fight the good fight, to engage in spiritual warfare, not be afraid of it, like Jim was saying in that quote, that, that they would love you and love your people more than they fear evil. And we know that all the trials that we face are to strengthen our faith, Lord, and strengthen our resolve for you. We pray that you would give us love for you and your people and help us to be people of integrity, men and women of integrity. And we pray this in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you for watching and God's blessings and peace on you until we meet again.